What's up guys? Let's talk about 177. If you already have one, you're you're in luck because uh, the 177 slug slug world has changed a lot in the last few years. If you would ask me about the that caliber 17 cal 10 years ago, I thought it would be dead. But with the projectiles, it's kind of helped extend it. And I kind of feel like the 17 cal with slugs now is equivalent to a 22 and 25 cal like the hitting power and everything you're able to do in the ballistics, which we'll get in there. So I got about six, six positive things. If you're looking at upgrading and you're curious, you know, everybody gets drawn to the bigger calibers. Everybody's like, Oh, I need a 25. I need this. And you, you, you see it all the time. Guys are like, Oh, you know, 177 for feathers and 25 for fur. And you just got to have this huge caliber and you got to have this massive expansion which I don't think is the case. And then everybody talks about the ballistics and uh, bucks the wind better in that. But with these, with these new slugs, the JSB knockouts going from 10 grain all the way to the Griffins, which are 22 grain, it changes the game. It's, it's completely different in my opinion. I'll give you some, ex uh, some experiences. So there's the FX impact, which a 30 cal is going to probably shoot 40 shots out of the, out of the gun at about 900 feet per second or something, that maybe 60, but it's not a lot. And I've shot right next to guys or, you know, we're bucking the wind I'm shooting a 177 with a BC of 0 0.07 or something. And a lot of those JSB 50 grain and um, 44 grain pellets have a BC of like 0 0.043. What's kind of amazing is when you're kind of bucking the wind side to side, the 177 holds tighter it's not bouncing around nearly as much as the 30 cal. So it changes the game in the perspective of pellet guns versus the 177 in a slug gun, but there's an added benefit. So there's the price of the projectile, which is like way less than if you want to go to a slug gun in 30 cal or 25 cal, you know, FX slugs are 16 to 20 cents a piece. You can get JSB knockouts in a 10 400 for 15 bucks, you know, and yeah, and the, the BC is better. As I mentioned, it bucks the wind a little bit better. And the wallop that it puts on animals, if you shoot sparrows or anything, just just watch it. It's it's amazing. It hits like a 22 or 25. It has that sound and that impact where predominantly, you know, the JSB pellets just wouldn't do its thing. You really can't push them, you know, 8.4 grain pellet that hard. But speaking about fast, you know, this is the 17 cal condor it pushes a 13 grain jsbs at 1100 feet per second on low which then opens up possibilities to push stuff you know 22 grains at that speed if you just want to bump it up and you know the delta wolf will push 13 grains at like 1080 so it will definitely get out there you guys have seen my video probably six months ago shooting clay pigeons like 300 yards Granted, it was dancing around. It wasn't every shot. It was far from that. But you see guys shooting balloons at three and 400 yards with like slug guns and that. And I'm like, well, that's, that's totally doable with the 177. In fact, I think you could probably put out 400 yards. You could hit a balloon at that using a 177. No problem. I, I just have that feeling like you can do it because it's so much bigger. A lot of my video, if you watched it six months ago, I had a small clay pigeon. I was bouncing around it. But if you increase the size of the balloon by that, you're going to hit it so much more. And, and if that's the thing you're looking to do, or if you're shooting a tall can, the probability you're going to hit it is exponentially higher. So as far as that, you know, you're looking at the differences. The 17 cal slugs really don't compete with, you know, the 22 cal and 25 cal and 30 cal like the extreme bench rest and all these competitions, they're obviously better. But if you're looking for, you know, a hybrid solution, you don't want to buy another caliber because 100%, I can tell you this guys, if, as soon as you get another caliber, you're going to buy JSB pellets, slugs. You might as well spend another $400 on ammo because you're going to try to find out what works in that rifle. If you make another investment, where if you already have a 17 cal, you already got the base and then you just add a few different slugs as you go and you figure out what works and what are you trying to do with it? You know, um, are you hunting? Are you just plinking or target practice and look at the price, you know, the, the amount of air you're using. So you're using four times the air, 
if you look, I think I mentioned the Red Wolf HP will do 400 shots roughly on low, 200 shots on medium power, and then on high power, it will do like 180 to 120 shots. 30 cal pellets, 25 cal pellets, they're like 60, 80, 80 shots max. So just know you're, it's, it's equal sometimes if you're gonna push the heavier stuff, that's when you get into problems, when you, when you want to go to a true slug gun. And speaking of that, my frustration, why this video, right? 177, 17 cal, why did, how'd this come up? Well, if you guys have been following my channel, I've been shooting the FX Panthera or Pantera, right? And I've been looking at these groups. And a couple days ago, I went out 55 yards and was shooting. And it's not the greatest groups, all right? Came back, cleaned the rifle, did all this stuff. Went back out and kind of got the same groups. And I was like, oh. I'm like, well, I want to make sure it's not me. Like, is it me? You really start kind of questioning yourself. Like, is it the wind? Maybe there's some wind downrange. I don't know. Maybe, you know, you start, oh, okay. So I, I, I got out my F, uh, day state, day state 22 cal, just 20 grain slugs and started printing dime size five shot groups. Just one after another. Very, very easy. It was like a laser out there. Bang, bang. I was like, wow, this has so much less power than, than my Pantera. And I was like, just like, oh my gosh, I got a 22, 25. 22 is just crushing it right now in the accuracy. I'll get a hold of it. But that's not my most accurate rifle at that range. Actually, my 17 cal is more accurate. And it's kind of funny because I'm pushing 20 foot pounds out of my Red Wolf HP. And it's just as accurate, more accurate than that and I'm pushing close to 100 pounds, and I'm getting groups like that. And that's the thing I noticed with my air consumption. My, I had this huge tank, and by the time I was done, I got sick of filling it up in the back. I just tethered it. I just plugged it in and just, I'm gonna keep filling it up that way. And by the time I was done, I had like 2,000, 2,400 PSI, and I went through a, whole, a lot of different shots. Like, man, this is, this is frustrating. It's using a lot of air. And at the end of it, what am I going to use this gun for? I want it to be extreme long range. I get that. But up close, you know, if I'm shooting anything with 50 to 80 yards, I would take the smaller rifle, you know, smaller caliber if you're just target shooting. Why waste all the air and the money doing that? And that's the thing, you know, the flexibility of the power. You can take a lot of these 177s and, and scale them down to 12 foot pounds all the way up to 30 foot pounds without even touching your gun. As I mentioned in my tuning or my modifications video, the further you get into a specific task, like slug shooting with high power, 80, 100, 120 foot pounds, you're getting so far away from the base of shooting pellets and, and projectiles in a normal way that you're, you really can't go back. You're just pretty much set in that way. So the 177 or the 17 cal gives you a lot of flexibility in being able to adjust your gun high and low because it's just been there so long. You know, you're pushing 12 to 40 foot pounds. It's not, yeah, it's, it's four times, but it's, it's not once you start getting over a hundred foot pounds, you're, you're just dumping air out the, out the barrel to make things happen. In fact, it's just not that efficient of a, of a process like gunpowder and that. So guys, that is it. Um, it's, it's been a journey, but it's kind of on the top of my mind. I think 17 cal, you know, there's, there's some stories out there, some manufacturers that are coming out with slug barrels for 17 cal. Um, buddy had a conversation for Utah air guns, wanting a 700 millimeter uh, impact barrel in 17 cal, because right now I think the 16, 600 mil is the longest. So he wants to save some air and get some speed. And the guy was asking him, well, we have a, a meeting on Tuesdays or something like that, that we, we look for emerging trends. And he goes, why, why do you want to do this? And he goes, well, because I'm blowing way too much air shooting these higher calibers. I just want to target practice and get out there away with, with a lower cost. He goes, that's interesting. We've had a couple other people ask about the 17 cal slugs. And so, yeah, I think it, it could be, it could be definitely a viable option. If you're looking at that, don't, don't trick yourself into thinking if you got to shoot squirrels, you got to do it with a 30 cal or, you know, birds or sparrows, like everybody says, you can get it done with a 17 cal, just about everything. It, you know, shot placement, shot placement is key. But yeah, save yourself some money and frustration. Learn one caliber and then kind of 
branch out from there when you when you really need to but you guys got comments questions below and i'll see you guys next week